and they're getting there. You know, they're they're walking over, and they're dinking a bit. Then they're, they're now this is something I kind of like. I guess it, it is shorter for them to like cut across the land here. But you'd think with a the road, they could just go like there and follow the road. But I don't know. It 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 seems like they they really favor kind of cutting corners in roads. And sometimes it's almost worth like just doing diagonal. But I just I like straight roads better. You know, they they look nicer. They they line up for the buildings. It's it frustrates me that the dang villagers won't do what they're told. <laughs> so let, let's see, Corey, Corey, Corey. Now. Once you put it in, it's in permanently. So I kind of want it to be a little bit up and over here, like the, where the mountain is, just to make sure we have room for everything else. So, and we do want, oh, I always forget how big these are. Look at that. Yeah, it won't fit there. Um, gosh, it's tempting to actually kind of put it like there, but then we won't have room for the trader. It almost fits exactly there. <laughs> Interesting. Um, I don't want it there though. That's that's right next to town, and that's a nice wide, flat, useful space. Well, what about? We have to destroy the cart. She quarries are big. They're just frustrating. Like I, th I'm not sure where to put it actually. Let's see, our firewood's low, but we do have a, a woodcutter back, so I think that will. It's basically gonna be low because all these houses, as they get rebuilt, are going to kind of want to get stuff. Um, I'm gonna get Taylor going, so because our coat situation is getting pretty bad, um, and we do have some more laborers coming in, so I think we can afford that. How are we doing on the stone? It looks like they're getting to it slowly but surely. Yeah, what's happening is they go over, they hit it a couple times, and they get hungry and have to go back. So it'll be slow, but they will get it. So we'll just kind of wait on that a bit. I'll plant out this quarry. Maybe kind of if you look up here, it's getting a little bit far away from the town. Oh, uh, I'm almost tempted to put in like a bridge and have the quarry here. Since that's, it's not, it's flat land, but, you know, it's kind of cut off by the river here. I think, actually, that is the, that's what we're going to do. Oh, but the bridge here would compromise the fishing. Um, I guess if we put the bridge, like, here, I can, I can get rid of the Forester Lodge. Uh, I'll think about this a minute. Um, yeah, if we put, like, a, a couple houses in there, I'm going to put them in, but not build them just yet. We'll do like, and eh, we'll do a wooden house and a stone house for now. And just pause that. Now, I also, I need to look up if, I think it actually does, like the little train post. Um, they essentially, like them being out here will cut down on the fishing, but I, I think I can live with that just because it's kind of essential at this point that we just that's the only room I can really put it in unless I put it like smack in the middle here and I, I'd rather like have a little bit inefficient fishing especially since our food situation is doing pretty well oh no I, I was hoping to get in and see I would have probably had a little cemetery going by now but for the uh yeah, I was hoping to get one in so we could get the old age death sorted, but unfortunately, um, <laughs> we're, we're dumping bodies in rivers again. Just a little bridge there, and I'll, I'll let them build that uh, despite it costing some stone, because I think what I want to do is I like the quarry kind of off in this corner, and it's still fairly close to... The town center but not so far away that it, it kind of ruins it you know um because this mine is a little bit far away from where i'm intending to build some homes and so if i get the quarry say like here i mean they can cross the river mine go back to their houses and still be happy because they won't i don't know it if that's a hill though that might mess it up Let, let's see 
Uh, we can we can turn off the fishing docks for now. Oh, um, and let's see if I actually left room for a trader. I might not have done that. Um, let's see. It should fit, though. Yeah, it, it does. It, it, it's a little bit... I almost want to go one down, but... Anyway, we can put that there and pause it. Yeah, it's going to cut in a little bit, but not too much. Yeah, it's a shame that... Well, I mean, I could have it scooched over a bit, but just a, yeah, let's do that before they put in too much junk. Yeah, yeah, because let's see, there's gonna be a road going up here, and then the bridge can go there, and then like maybe this road can cut in like a little corner or something of that nature. Like I, being flush would be ideal, but I don't think. I don't think it's that big of an issue. Anywho, yeah, and we'll build we'll build the road kind of around the corner instead, just because having the double road, I, I like to avoid that if possible. So, and our, our bridge, let's see, and this way, I think this bridge will actually be maybe a little bit less, like what, fourteen stone? Cool. And our quarry. I'm tempted to actually put the quarry in and then build it because we do have iron stored up and all it needs is iron and wood, so plus them clearing it out. And that way we can like start assigning maybe like four labors to it. Let's do that. Um because I want to get started on those. I, I think what we suffered from last time was a, a lack of of stone and Okay, let's see. Where now this could feasibly be an okay fishing... Oh no, we have a fishing hole there. So, if I can fit it kind of around this corner. It's a little bit further away from the town. But see, I could feasibly build like another trading post in here eventually. But not around this turn. So if I can do like... I don't know, something that isn't going to really cut into it. That would be the best, um, best option. I think this works. Let's put it in, pause it, and then see if we can get, if we have enough room for trade, trade there. Because basically the trader, he could actually like, I don't know. I'm, I'm not gonna trade stone away, it's too valuable, but maybe I could feasibly do other, oh, there's plenty of room. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna allow it. Let, let's get this in and get, get some quarry going. Get our quarry on. <laughs> now, quarries, you're going to want uh, a couple things around them. A stockpile. All right, there's that little... And yeah, we'll have it go around the the hillside. Whatever. And having a little bit of variation in the road isn't terrible. And if I change my mind about that, I change my mind about that. And we'll get some... We can collect some more stone from over here, too, now that we have the, the bridge. So, let's do... And iron. I, I think iron might be something that might start to be an issue until we get the mine in. So, let's see. Uh, I did want to get a graveyard going. Let's let's pause since we are seeing some old age related deaths. Um, and maybe like put our planned second trading post in around here with a stockpile. Actually, this might be a good little spot for the stockpile. Well, let's let's do this, okay. I'm gonna stretch this road over here and we'll figure out a use for this little green space. Maybe maybe a little stockpile, because, you know, that could... Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm okay with that idea. Maybe, maybe another well even. Actually, let's get, if we can squeeze some homes in, like maybe do a home and, I don't know, there's going to be a little bit of wasted space maybe, but the main reason I'm thinking houses is uh, we need, there, there's going to be a lot of vendors here and there's going to be a lot of traders here, so they need a place to live. We can almost do it like that and have like a little side alley going on. Um, can we fit one in? Hmm. That's a shame. 
Maybe, maybe I can put something else in. Uh, actually, storage might fit in there. And are we desperate for storage? No, but eventually you do fill up. Yeah, that'll work. It's a little waste of space, but not much. You can even have like a, a big road in between those two. Let's let's do that. And we'll pause it because storage. I mean, it takes some stone and stuff, but that'll be nice. That'll be good extra bonus storage for the trading posts and. Over here, we'll have maybe the stockpile servicing that, and then some houses around it as well. Like, we could put maybe a house in there, and then another little trading post. Let's let's do that. We'll make them stone houses. We'll make them fancy. I mean, I feel like tradesmen would be wealthy. <laughs> so, we'll do that, and we'll get, let's see. Another one plant. Just planting it out a bit. Um, kind of like that should be good. A little waste of space up here. Hmm. But I don't know if there's much we can do with that. I mean, we can't really move that fishing hole. It needs to be there, so. I mean, we could just say, you know, one trading post here and then have other ones on the other side and do something else with this, like a row of houses or a little, ah, maybe a little boring house here. You know, it could be like a, a scenic view. Yeah, let's do that. You don't need a ton of traders. Um, they're nice to have endgame because, again, if you have a bonus surplus of a resource, it's how you get... Um, convert bonuses of one resource into useful goods for something that you're lacking. So You definitely do want a bunch of them near the end game. We'll plan to have a storage there, but we won't put it in just yet. Yeah, like a little boarding house. Let's see if it fits. It might not, but absolutely does not. <laughs> uh, best laid plans of mice and men, right? Well, I mean, maybe we'll have to accept that there's going to be kind of a, a gap. Maybe put the gap in there. I think that'll look okay. Uh, let's see here. So market, uh, trade post, trade post. Yeah. Yeah, I like a gap with that when if we can leave that tree in. That that might be cool. I feel like though it, it, it's kind of if these things do uh, use up the fishing area, we're, we're cutting out a lot already, and if we scooch it down here, it'll be a bit less that of a penalty. I think well, I think we'll do that. Yeah. And just leave this paused. And we're going to lose the tree when they build the house, but whatever. It would have been kind of nice to have like a decorated tree, but to be fair, trees have a limited lifespan, so eventually they would have just, it would have been gone anyway. So, well, let's put in this church. Now, we've left kind of a, a space around here. Maybe, um, put kind of facing the market. That, that'd be nice. And I have like, we could do like the graveyard. Eh, maybe the graveyard behind the church or over here. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Doesn't quite line up with that cart. Um, I guess we could put it like here. And then the graveyard over. I don't know. Maybe, maybe this time we'll have kind of like gap there, put the chapel in, have it more on the outer edge of town, and then like, no, you, you did it wrong, okay, let's fix that, just tidying it up a bit, um, I don't, if I can avoid gaps and things, like, I, I tend not to, like, to be fair, like, sometimes putting gaps in, it'll prevent fires from going out of control, but fires, even though we got really nailed by one early on, they, they typically aren't, um, they don't happen often enough that I would change my building just, just to adjust for the po potential fires. So, I'm going to pause this until the quarry is making a big surplus of stone for us. I might put in, like, another... Yeah, another little house in there would be good. And we're focusing on stone houses. Eventually, like, I don't even want to have any wooden houses whatsoever. 
what whatsoever. So let's uh, just kind of tying things up, kind of playing things out. So our cemetery, well, let's put it kind of back here a bit. You know, it'll it'll be yeah, kind of off in the corner, but you know, I think having a cemetery near the hillside is kind of a nice idea. Let's see. Hopefully it'll fit. It probably won't. <laughs> Well, I'd rather it be kind of, I, I get a little bit weird on like, you know, want, wanting it to be like 7x7, seven seven, you know, as opposed to 7x8 or whatever. If I could do like a 9x9, nine nine, I would, but I can't. Um, maybe a 7x7, seven seven, kind of tiny one to start. Yeah, let's do it. That's what, 24 stone. I'm gonna I'm gonna let him go ahead and, and build that and also build like maybe well let's let's not build these houses immediately but soon uh, I'll probably have like a, let's see I do want a stockpile fairly large one if this is gonna be like a 10 by 10 like the largest size stockpile let's do that what would it be eight uh, we could do like a 7 by seven that's pretty close yeah we'll do that and um, Again, a road all the way around. It just makes it easier to reach a stockpile no matter what direction you're coming from. And this might might end up being a blacksmith or something. Um, I do need more houses eventually in proximity to these traders. Let's see. And because I, I need them for the trading, the fishing, and all that. But I do want it to be kind of, kind of nice. Well, let's let it run on like two times speed or something while, while I finish up this planning. Because I have been doing so much planning when they could have been building stuff, so. Oops. <laughs> Sometimes I screw up that way. Let's see, so they're still gathering. Um, still picking stuff up, so let, let's let them continue to do that. Um, I'm gonna start unpausing these things. I think we're gonna want more food sooner rather than later. And just just having this all lined up would be a, a good plan of action. I also want to put in in between these two. Let's uh, kind of pin these. So we know, like right in here, I'm gonna put in a um, a guy making some firewood. So woodcutter. Yeah, let's do like that. I kind of like that and have like a little road coming off of it instead of just having it all straight. You know, have some kind of twists and turns. And then we'll put his um, stockpile there. And actually his house can go there. That'll be cool. Kind of like that. Yeah, that's good. And, and we'll do like a, a little 5 by 5 Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll keep this paused for now. I don't want to get too crazy with the house building, especially since we just had to rebuild so many. Kind of dipped into our supplies doing it. But, you know, actually getting a couple of homes ready, because once a quarry goes in, we're actually going to want like a lot of houses in proximity to it. Like Even some up here would be a good plan. But not too close. I don't want so close that you get um, unhappiness. So... Yeah, see, we get that awkward little extra bit of space. Um, well, we could, um, I wonder. Not quite enough room for a well in there. I guess let's try seeing if a blacksmith or something will go in there. Is it ideal location? Maybe not, but, well, it almost fits. What about the tailor? Tailor fits. Um, that's actually not a bad idea. Idea because eventually tailors um, eventually one thing you want to trade are like warm coats they're they're very like they trade ridiculously well so having a tailor kind of in proximity to where the traders are like we can stock them up with warm coats okay um, well burst that's awesome good to see that and also let's see we're gonna need a stockpile like a big one for the quarry, so I might put in like a 10 by 10 here. 
That might be too big, but I don't know. It, I, I kind of think the stockpiles look... They look good when they start to fill resources and whatnot, so... Yeah, like a big 10 by 10. Since this space isn't getting used for much else anyway, we might as well just have uh, some storage going on. And I might put a house in there while I'm thinking about, like a little wooden shanty house. <laughs> Where all the, the poor, uh, you know, the guys working on here are coop, cooped up in. Um, I guess, can I fit, I might be able to fit two. Can I do that? Doesn't look like it, so. Yeah, let's just cancel that. I, I don't... Eh, that location's not bad, actually. Maybe... No, you know what? I'll have a house, like, over here, and then, like, a road going down, and maybe I can get a house or two in this way. Eh, let me see something. Like, if we did, like, this... For instance, oh, they're not going to let me build until they... And then have a couple more houses just kind of along the river there. That's good. Just going to shore up um, the massive number of people that we need to be near this quarry. So, what about... Oh, I won't pause all three of those. Because I think if we look in, say, our house... Yeah, we got some couples getting close to being old enough to move out. So, got a lot of food stored up. That's good. And this stuff's getting built. And we still have some some random bits and bops that our laborers will eventually get. So, I'm just I kind of I'm tempted to let's let's actually go around with our paving tool. I want to double check these. See, there's not enough homes here. They they need. Uh, gosh, how many do they need? Probably three more, I think. So let's take care of that, too. And then, yeah, we can mix it up. Maybe put in some stone. And I will save up on our stone a bit. I'm tempted to have, like, a little side street going off this way. That, that'll be cool. Let's do that. Just so we don't get just straight lines going places. You know, like, have a little side neighborhood. It means more road building, but... Unfortunately, the dirt roads, they, they just cost some time. They don't really cost anything else. So, let me assess. Um, I'm tempted to get boost up our hunters a bit. Just to... Because we're starting to get like a lot of extra laborers. But for now, I don't mind them. Because they're, they're helping out with... I'll tell you what, let's, let's get like five builders. That way, the, the builders will... They'll get caught up on these houses that are ready to go so and just at this point you know it's kind of it comes down to building things out quickly and well step not quickly quickly but steadily and, and kind of like planning for stuff now the mine i'm going to put in once i have the quarry up and running with like five six people um actually our iron our iron's okay for now our tools looking good I think for the most part, like, this is the only thing we're running short on is stored clothes. So we, we do need that extra hunter. Let's crank this up to four. And that way we'll, um, we'll get more hides coming in and that, that should help out with things. How many hides has he built? Yeah, and not as much as I'd like to see. Uh, the main reason for that is we need more houses around here so they're not walking all the way back here to um you know warm up or, or eat so yeah i'm feeling pretty good feeling pretty good i'm gonna take a, a little pause break here and and we'll come back and then I'll, I'll probably crank up the speed a bit like finish gathering all this up and um start sorting our second node and uh maybe even get the third one going just so we really have a good steady increase in food supply. And then I'd like to also work on the quarry and the mine. So I'm gonna pause real quick and, and then when we come back, we'll, we'll start working on that a bit. We'll start building up the town, maybe even get like, um, uh, you know, like maybe a town, well, we have the town hall here. This needs to get built, guys, come on. <laughs> I'm actually gonna prioritize the graveyard because 
I, I hate for the idea of the first generation, all of them dying out and then never never being remembered. You know, they were the, the our brave pioneers coming out into the wilderness and establishing things. I think they should be honored. You know, it would be kind of like if, um, oh, I, I, it won't let me go all the way around, I don't think, but I'll try. Yeah, he gets up to there and say, like, nope, not having it. But, yeah, having a little cemetery behind the church is kind of nice. So, the church might be kind of the edge of town and give a little bit of space so that people aren't unhappy about the mine being here. Let's go ahead and unpause the mine, too. And just let things run for a bit, but I'll be back in a second. <laughs> 